Welcome back guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install Night X3 OptiScaler mod in Palworld running on my ROG Ally with Windows 11 and Steam Deck with SteamOS using OptiScaler mod I will be enabling FSR version 3.1.2 frame generation will also have the option to enable the latest version of XCSS or FSR upscaler I prefer the latest version of XCSS to FSR as it produces less texture shimmering around fine textures like wires, meshes and fences it's up to you Steam's autumn sale is live. Game is selling at a discounted price, 25% off discount. In India, its price is around rupees 975. In US, its price is around 22.5 dollars. It's an open world survivor game in which we hunt and tame animal-like creatures called pals. They have a striking resemblance to Pokémon's. First, I'll show you the setup process on ROG Ally Windows. I'll be using version 0.7, preview 66 build of OptiScaler. You can download it from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link. Open File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find the downloaded mod file. I have transferred it to another folder. Named it as 66. You can name it anything you want. Open the mods archive file. Extract its contents. Copy everything present inside this archive file. Go back. Paste. Wait for the process to complete. Now just open DLSS overrides folder. Execute this registry file. Enable signature override. Click on run. Click on yes. OK. Go back. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. Now just copy the highlighted files. Don't need to copy these two folders and this archive file. Open the game's install directory. I on the Steam version of Palworld. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, browse local files. Open Pal folder. Open Pinery's folder. Open Win64 folder. Paste the mod files here. They are not done yet. Open the game's install folder again. Need to obtain the DLSS file. Open Pal folder. Open Plugins folder. Open DLSS folder. Open Pinery's folder. Open third party folder, win64 folder, there is the dll file, copy, paste it in the games install directory where you pasted the mod files, right here, need to change the name of this file to nvngx.tll, that's it, the mod has been installed, for this game I have set the UMA buffer size to 5GB, my ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest PU GPU driver which is optimized for Dragon Ace the build card using a 25 watts manual profile all 3 power values set at 25 watts 900p resolution CPU boost disabled connected my GUI kit KK3 Max gamepad to ally via Bluetooth mode adrenaline settings for Palworld freezing, freezing and anti-lag settings enabled I would not recommend playing the game in online mode with the mod enabled in-game graphics setting and just hide adrenaline overlay for the time being display mode full screen 900p resolution vsync and motion blur disable medium to high settings we have access to dlss setting this means the mod is working using the upscaler's quality preset that's it with the settings now i'll open optiscaler mod menu just press the insert keyboard key and there it is Using XCSS Upscaler, you can change the upscaler from this drop down bar. FSR 3.x is for FSR version 3.1.2. I'll go back to XCSS, it's version 1.3.1. Frame generation disable for the time being. There's our character. This is my cam. You can see pals are working here. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, here we are hitting the GP bottleneck. FPS is close to 40. I'll just summon a pal. I can mount this creature to fly around. Big open world. I'll just enable frame generation now. On. I haven't enabled hard fix setting yet. Yeah, FPS increased to around 60 can observe the added amount of smoothness but the HUD elements are flickering as you can see look at that smoothness 
open the debug view no display for the bottom right image and just enable fg heartbreak setting now set the limit value to 1 fg extended setting disabled display is working properly for the bottom right image no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image so the HUD element should not flicker now with OptiScaler frame generation enabled disable debug view let's check out the performance just reduce the exposure yeah game is running smoothly getting around 70 fps HUD elements are not flickering there you go mod works great in PAL world just fly around mount this PAL network input lay is not a problem it's not a first person shooter other PALs I'm just engaging combat Oh my god. This pal is hungry. Just dismount. Descend first. Here you go. Can use my spear as well. 60 to 70 FPS is frame generation. You can always drop the settings to improve the performance further. Entirely up to you. Games playable this way as well. At lower base FPS values, you can observe some ghosting around the character model with OptiScaler frame generation enabled. No significant artifacts around the character model. Now I'll be testing the game on Steam Deck. This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. Just download version 0.7 preview 66 built of OptiScaler from this site. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link. Open Dolphin File Explorer, go to Downloads. Here you'll find the downloaded mod file. There it is. I have transferred it to this folder. Named it as 66, does not matter. Extract its content. Open. Select all of the files present inside this archive window. Drag and drop them outside of this window like this. Wait for the process to complete. There you go. Now just open DLSS Overrides folder. We need to execute this registry file. Enable signature override. Copy it. Paste it on the desktop right here. I'll be executing this file using Proton Tricks. You can download Proton Tricks for free from Discover Store. Select PAL world, click on OK. Wait for the next window to pop up, can take about 7 to 8 seconds. Check this option, select the default find picks, click on OK. Check this option, run regedit, click on OK. This window will pop up. Now just click on registry, click on import registry file, navigate to the desktop area. My computer, C drive, home folder, deck folder, desktop folder. There's the registry file, enable signature override, double click, OK. That's it, close. Go back to a directory where you extracted the mod files. Change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. Now just copy the highlighted files. Don't need to copy the two folders and the archive file here, copy, paste them in the games install directory, select the game in your steam library, right click manage, browse local files, open pal folder, open binaries folder, open bin64 folder, paste the mod files here, open the games install folder again, open pal folder, open plugins folder, open dlss folder, Open binaries folder, third party folder, bin64 folder, copy this TLL file, paste it in the games install directory where you pasted the mod files, right here, change its name to nvngx.tll, now we need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general, under launch options, add this line of text, I'll provide in the description of the video. On Steam Deck, this game runs using DirectX 11 by default, OptiScaler frame generation won't work with it. That's why I added this line, dash TX12, the other line is for injecting the mod into the game. 
connected my cosmic patch Delirus gamepad to tech via bluetooth mode using G Proton version 9-20 as the compatibility layer for the game I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck its display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate performance QM settings only level set to 3 uncapped FPS disable SteamOS vSync by enabling disable frame limit and allow tearing settings that's it in game settings low to medium display mode full screen 800p resolution vSync and motion blur disable access to DLSS setting mod is working using the upscalers balance preset that's it open optiscalar settings by pressing the insert keyboard key if you don't have a keyboard you can map insert key to any of steam deck's back grip buttons using xcss as the upscaler frame generation disabled for the time being there's our character this is my cam panels are working here fps is around 35 to 37 gpu load is within a range of 87 to 95 percent xcss upscaler is producing a decent looking image not observing any artifacts around the character model you can definitely play the game this way you just apply a 30 fps cap can observe some choppiness text display does not support vrr i'll just enable frame generation now oh my god what happened to that pal caught fire poor creature enable frame generation I'll enable hot fix like a point debug view as well back to the game hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image so these hard elements will flicker after enabling optiscalar frame generation bottom right image has no display just enable fg hard fix setting set the limit value to 1 fg extended setting disable Hard elements are gone from the bottom middle image. Display is working properly for the bottom right image. Need to enable manual GPU clock setting and set the clock speed to 1600 MHz. Otherwise, game will start after enabling Arctiscalar frame generation. Let's just play the game. Debug view disabled. Back to the game. The FPS increased to around 60. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Optiscular frame generation increases the CPU load. I'll just go for a ride. Summon my pal. Mount it. Game set elements are not flickering. Hotfix work properly. Even on Steam OS. Engage in combat. There can be a few hitches here and there in this game. Traversal status. Fifty to sixty FPS depends on the area as well. You can always lower the settings to improve the performance further. Real world input delay. It's manageable. That's it with the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.